Hello everyone and welcome to part 20 of my high scoring war major video series. This is Hungry Hungry Hippos and this time we're doing the gateway map. So here we go. Standard loadout for me. Looks pretty good. Set up my kill box here initially. So like, th like that basically. Don't need that other barricade there, they will all come on this side. So, save some monies. This now do the cheer chuck, going through that gateway there, I'm able to get the cheer chuck rolling. Doing a bit of the old weapon switching here. They come through a little bit separated here which is nice makes it a bit easier just got the first deal we've upgraded that gets me a bit more cash rolling in the first few waves are all down here and then after the first break the flyers start coming so I will show you guys how I deal with those my timing on the cheer chuck the first lightning is sort of when they're a little bit out of the gate there there's the first one. Here we go for the second. By the way, the archers, if you want to kind of walk through your traps without stopping to shoot at you, if you let them shoot at you a little bit before they get to the traps, they shouldn't stop again. Well, hopefully, anyway. So I set up some extra stuff here because it gets me the fire archers and also I can afford a single ballista. This is a frost ogre here. This map's pretty much only got frost ogres on it. I am having to get lots and lots of headshots on this guy here to try and put his health down unless I can actually kill him here, but we'll see how well this works. I was a little bit slow there, I don't know if you saw, but he didn't die as quickly as I'd, li I'd have liked him to. And now he's kind of running around trying to k kill me, so yeah. I'll just kind of let him do it, I'll let him kind of ignore him. I was just going for combos on the other guys. Because you can't get combo scores on the resurrected ones anymore. So, this guy, I'm not going to get any combo points on him. It doesn't really matter how well I kill him. So uh, this is the first break now. I'm kind of looking around at what to do, what I'm what I'm gonna do on this bit. Know what you want. In the end I think I decided I'll just leave everything down there where it is and then I'll put some arches up here in a bit. Just looking at the positions of stuff up here. I find putting arches there works pretty well. It means I get to focus fire on them when they're all close to the rift. The flowers are quite slow on this bit, so I'm going to speed them up, so hold on. And we're back. Okay, so lightning cloud down here. I'm using the blade stuff distance glitch to get some combos on these guys. A bit of weapon switching involved here, but I find it works better on the big ones. The little ones die too quickly for it to really work. Because I'm next to the rift, I get loads of mana, and mana's not a problem. I did lose one of my archers, so yeah, that's my bad. And that grinder really didn't work. Just wait for him to get some health up, so I'll sell him for max value. I left the other one there because his health was too low for me to sell. Go then. See if I can. All right, so I've just picked up another blister, and also I've got the f the extra trap reset time upgrade. An and jagged steel. There's quite a lot of them here, so I'm using the crossbow here just to try and kill them off. Because of the way the flyers work on this level, you can see the other flyers are coming around now. 
Uh, they take a little bit of time to come up, which gives me time to kill the stuff down there and then come back up here to kill the flies at the end in general. Yeah, he's dead, stupid archer. Anyway, so I'm going to put down another archer up here, hopefully, or... Yeah, there we go. No, there. Yeah, there. Okay, that'll do. There we go. I should be able to get like five, yeah, five X combos in these guys. Works. Just using the crossbow and also the blade stuff. Just using one, you'll get four X's. When I did this in the past, I used to just wait until I had them on fire and the archers are firing at them, and then I switched to the, the crossbow and killed them with that. Warning, may cause death. So there's another, another blister down. Looking back on this, I really should have put down an archer in the last wave down here as well. I still think archers are one of the most valuable units in the game, guardian-wise. The way you can position the way you want to it makes them very, very powerful indeed. And the fact that they give two times combos all by themselves makes them a bit of a no-brainer choice, really. Get a bit of cash here for a couple more archers down here, so just kind of toying with the position of it somewhat. There's one, and there's the other one. Yeah, see, I don't want them firing too early. I was trying to, I was trying to make it so you wouldn't be able to hit them, but it didn't work. Never mind. So I'm just waiting for them to show up, and then I'll do it on the lightning storm again. Get some weapon switching on the go here. You've got to strike a balance here between killing them quickly and also getting the combos, so watch out for that. If you let them stay alive too long, the archers will die like my other one did earlier on. So that archer came back to life, because I'm on War Mage. It's cool. I've got the Steel Weaver upgrades I want, so I'm just putting down a bit more firepower here, really. See here, a few more archers. More ballistas, maybe. I just told them to make sure they're facing the right way. If you get them facing the wrong way, it won't work, or they'll fire too early. Where's this one going to go? There. Okay. As you can see, there's another frost ogre here. I'm trying to take his health down or whittle it down a bit here, but I'm not really not doing a great job. Kind of limited time. Those early runners kind of screw up a little bit on your combos as well. Because they waste they waste all your traps before the ogre shows up. Some apps it's easier to separate the ogres than it is on others. It's, I think it's one of the trickier ones to do that on. I've got quite a nice combo run just now, I don't know if you guys saw that, but one thing I have found after playing the hallway quite a few times is that combos is, are quite valuable for your cash flow. So even if they don't really add a lot of score, they can make a good difference on your cash flow. So for me it was like the difference between being able to to actually get enough money to buy what I wanted or not. Well I took into consideration that on the hallway money is quite limited anyway. Having an extra hundred coins come in from a ten kill streak combo works pretty well, or more if I can. But this one isn't such a problem. Money's money's fine on this level, so I'm not really going for the kill streaks when they happen. They're a bonus. So I'm just going back up here now to take care of the flowers again. I tried Grinder there, I think it didn't work last time, I don't think it's going to work this time as well. But, never mind. One of the reasons it doesn't work is because the flyers stop there where they are, they're kind of outside of the Grinder zone. I have toyed around a little bit with moving the arches slightly, so that they don't, they don't sort of stop there. 
the problem is is finding somewhere where they're close enough to shoot but not kill them too early and I haven't yet found that position so I went back to my original tactic anyway more ballistas, that's pretty much all I'm going to be buying now, ballistas and then stuff for killing the flies with Combo's running on these guys. It's another ogre on the way. Seriously, don't have time to really do much about the ogres here. As you saw, I was kind of busy with that set the whole time there, and he hasn't really died enough. And there's a whole bunch more orcs coming in. Seven. Yeah. I never combo the ogres well on this map. Really, not compared to some of the other ones I've done. Just playing around here with traps for this bit because some of the flyers that like, come up here the next couple of waves, so just seeing what I can put down here to help combo them. I find having archers over here works quite well because even if they die, the flyers will stop and kill them rather than going straight to the rift when you're not paying attention. So that's why I put them there. I start thinking about hidden blisters or, or blisters around the corner here that will fire on the ogres when they get past where the grinder is there. I think actually it's, it's better to have a few more of those so I start, I start moving them around. Set up some of the other ones and, and bring them this way. A little present for you, one for you, and one for you, something for your face. Yeah, something something like that should work. Another one there, maybe. Alright, so here I'm just going to be waiting for the next wave to show up. There's a bunch of, bunch of archers on the way. I think I was going to cheer chuck, but then I decided I wouldn't have enough time to do it, so I, I didn't. That's all good. Go and have a look at some down. You can hear the flyers above me. I think this is the first wave where they start going up the stairs and attacking those archers that I just put down a second ago. Let's go have a look. Yeah, see what I mean? Archers, archers here firing at them. Okay, a lot of little ones here. And there we go. A bit more cash, a few more ballistas maybe. So I'd select the ones at the front and put them over here. A treat for you. Yeah, okay, I'd sort of put some on the other side there. Um, I don't know if that's the best idea, because they're not really going to fire until the ogres are way past the wall. Probably would have been better off leaving them at the front. Or maybe move more to the other side and on the left from where I am now. Back up here for the flyers. Again, they're where I am. The reason I just use the lightning just now was because the archers are kind of vulnerable and they will die if you let them fight off by themselves, so, gave a bit of a helping hand. Okay, a few more ballistas here. Got cash for two. And here's another frost ogre. They've got so much health, these guys, you just can't 
you can't take it down quick enough. It's one of the problems. Well, you saw the original ogre I had. Uh, and here I just lost my barricade there, unfortunately. And rather than putting down another one, I... Oh, there's another ogre. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm not going to combo that guy well. The ending here was very messy. Well, you can see that. Very messy indeed. Anyway. Last one's up here, hopefully. Last flyers. My archers there are killing them off a little bit earlier than I'd like. I think overall this run has been it's been all right. I could definitely improve on it. I'm sure you guys watching this could take what I've done here and, and make it even better. This is by no means the the limit. Getting decent combos on those ogres would make a massive difference to the score in general, which I wasn't able to do. So, what did we get? What did we get? Five skulls, even though I'm not really going for five skulls, but anyway, 470k. 470k. Top legit score. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.